Hello! Time for another sequel Sunday. All right, so today's question is from Microsoft called Employee Project Budgets. Find the top five most expensive projects by the amount of budget allocated to each employee on the project. Exclude projects with zero employees. Assume each employee works on only one project. The output should be the project title and the budget that's allocated to each employee that is a budget to employee ratio and display the top five projects with the highest budget to employee ratio first. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Um, cool. So let us look at the table. It's MS projects as well as MS imp projects. So MS employee projects. So here we have ID, title, and budget, and MS EMP projects. We have EMP ID, employee ID, and the project ID. Cool. Now, let us look at the expected output. It is, let's see. Okay, project budget to employee ratio. What assumptions do we have? Hmm. Hmm. I think that the assumptions actually listed out here are pretty much everything that I thought about. Um, exclude project with zero employees. Find the top five most expensive projects and assume that each employee works only on one project. Okay, and one project can have multiple employees. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, there is one thing I noticed though, the budget to employee ratio. So I noticed that these are whole numbers, so we might be doing integer division here. Um, yeah, so I guess like we're doing inter integer division here. All right, let's get started. So we're going to do here, first off is, let's see. So the, what we want is project and budget to amp ratio which is equivalent to budget divided by count of the employees. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here is group by, oh, oops, no, we're gonna join first. So we're doing an inner join um, because we're excluding projects with zero employees. So you wanna do an inner join between MS projects and MS EMP projects. And then after that, we're going to be doing a group by. So we want to group by the, I believe it is title. Yeah. So we want to group by the title. Um, and then we want to count. So we want to do the budget divided by count of employee. And then finally, we want to order by this budget divided by count employee, and then we want to limit to five. Cool. Let us write the query. So from MS projects, let's call that P, inner join MS EMP projects, let's call that E, on P dot, uh, ID is equal to E dot, I think it's project ID. Yep. Okay, and then we we're gonna group by title. So I should write the select statement first. So select title as project. And this one is budget divided by, what are we dividing by? Count of the employee ID. So count of EMP ID as budget EMP ratio. So remember how I was saying my assumptions that I wanted to, uh, I noticed that it was whole numbers so i think instead of doing like in, uh, this is integer division as opposed to like sometimes we would like say multiply by 1.00 so that it would actually be a fraction afterwards so in this case i believe it's going to be an integer division um let's see oh and then we're going to write the group by so we are grouping by one as well as budget 
and we are going to order by two. Order that by descending and then limit five. Let us see if that is correct. Looks right. Now join. Okay, let's check. And that looks correct. All right, let us look at their solution here. Let's see. From, okay, inner join, group by title, budget, order by budget and ratio descending, limit five, and select title. Yep, this looks pretty much the same solution. Yep. All right, looks good. So is there anything else that we can think of that could make more business sense to do? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. I also, of course, always want to know your solution for how you approach this question. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah, that is about it for this week's SQL Sunday. Um, Oh yeah, as always, if you haven't checked out Strata Scratch yet, uh, that's the platform that I'm using now. It saves me a lot of time, so do check that out if you're interested. And I'll see you guys in the next video.